Um, but the, the text messages looked bad, right? But it was more so him saying this would look bad. It was like, yo, they gonna assume the worst. I'm famous. They gonna look to, to try to get me up out of here. A lot of things of that nature. Um, like that. Like, that that's that's pretty much a a, a, a one hundred percent admission that you did it. No. It's um, not. I do think it was interesting that they gave him though Johnny Depp. You know, I don't want to go racial, okay? But I'll just say this. Johnny Depp was fired simply because of the allegation. All Amber Heard had to do was make a wild, anonymous allegation on Twitter, and he got fired. Jonathan Majors, not white, got to have the decision made by Disney after the trial. In which he was found guilty. He was given. I guess it was confirmed, right? Um, but people already knew this. We we knew this to be the case. As soon as it was announced, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. It could be because they went straight to like trial and straight to to court to get it handled, and there's a bunch of other evidence being released. The Johnny Depp evidence didn't start getting released until after the fact. Right. Um, but I don't know. I don't think it's fair to say that uh people didn't talk about this because he was black. At least I, I wouldn't give enough um I wouldn't have enough information to make that statement yet. Given the benefit of the doubt, he was given his day in court. Or people didn't fire they fired him. him. Didn't fire. British dancer Gracie Jabari, thirty, said she suffered excruciating pain when the Marvel movie star struck her on the head and broke her finger in the back of an SUV. After she saw a flirty text message from another woman on his phone, Jabari's lawyer, Brittany Henderson, said jurors had delivered justice by convicting him on Monday and said her client hoped the case would inspire other quote unquote survivors to speak out. Okay. I have a huge problem using that terminology. You didn't survive it. You were free to leave that relationship at any time. Okay. You survive a plane crash. You survive cancer. You survive a car crash. You survive. Um, a yeah, surviving sounds crazy. Surviving sounds wow. That's a wild statement. Lying a bear attack. Survive. Okay, you don't survive some getting in some drunken argument with your rich boyfriend over some whore. Okay, sorry. Is that too rough? Is that too? Is that too? Or some homewrecker, I should say. You didn't survive that. All right. Survival implies um, the chance of not surviving. You guys are all, I want to thank you all for surviving this video. Leave a, leave a like on this video if you survived it. That way I'll know you survived. Yo, quarter and be going in. Quarter and be going in, bro. The fan, he be, he's blacking right now. Survived. Damn. Let me know that now, you survived. For majors, the conviction spell up to a year behind bars. He won't do a single day in prison. I'll just say that, okay? I don't think Along so. with the ruin of his Hollywood career, which is why this trial yeah, really happened, off. he was about to be tipped for an Oscar in his role in an unreleased movie, Magazine Dreams. Centering around our troubled bodybuilder, the film was put on hold by Disney. Yeah, fam, he was about to blow up, bro. I'll say this much. Like, I've watched him in a few things. I wasn't really too much of a fan. But then I seen him in Creed, bro. Killed that. Kill, he might have been the only good part about Creed. Destroyed that. That's what it made me have faith with him as a villain for the Marvel Universe. I was like, he plays a good villain. He plays a good villain. They they ruined his career with this. He definitely ruined it. I said, do I ever watch Tim Cass from time to time? If you guys have any like links that you want me to check out, I have no problem. Just uh, send it to me via Discord or email it to me and I'll check out the link. In light of the allegations, I'm not mad at Temple. Entertainment Giant must now decide whether to stand by majors or completely cancel the movie. But we know for a fact that they're going to cancel the movie. And we also know that if he was white, they would have canceled a long time ago. Now, in, 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 in my opinion, in my opinion, this is a toxic relationship. Um, you know, I think that they probably both, you know, there was one video security footage that was released 
where Jonathan Majors literally ran down the street at, at full his full speed running away from her and she was chasing him nonstop. Like she chased him down and like I, I don't know um you know what transpired, but I mean it wasn't exactly a brutal incident. You know, he was probably trying to get away from this. We we know what transpired. Did he follow the case? Oh, he cooking, but certain things he's saying is like, we know what transpired. Um, that's like what most of the case is about. Him, she snatched his phone. She allegedly seen some kind of text message on his phone or something from another girl. So she says, I thought she snatched his phone. He tried to get his phone back. She refused, right? After he got his phone back from a, he tried to leave. She was fighting. He tried to put her back in the car, right? This is two points where they're saying that he assaulted was when he grabbed his phone back and when he put her back in the car, right? Both of these incidents, or at least I would say one of them is on camera where he tried to put her back in the car, right? And they're saying that this, he without like not on purpose, but right, accidentally harmed her while getting his phone back, which mind you, what she did was assault by snatching his phone. Right. And by law, he's un- allowed to get his phone back by force. But I don't think his lawyers argued that. They argued if she ever got hurt in the first place, which was stupid. Who was his lawyer? Is Tory Lane's lawyer? Yeah, dumb. I'm not a lawyer, but that's dumb. From everything I'm hearing, unofficially, months ago, uh, I guess according to Midnight's Edge, who always has a lot of insider information, he was fired months ago, which I 100% believe. There was no way even with the trial that they were putting this movie out. Um, again, this is, he was also... <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, I meant that he was cooking <laughs> about the Survivor thing. Yes, that's what I was talking about too as well. The Survivor jokes he was cooking. But some of his other stuff sound a little crazy. Like the details about the case, some of that stuff sound a little bit off. I still rock with him now. You know, he graduated from Yale with an acting master's and rose to fame starting in 2019. He went on to perform in Lovecraft Country, which was absolute garbage. Received a primetime Emmy Award nomination yeah, before it just, starting. It just failed. It was a little too wokey woke, right? Which was the overall, like, I guess, premise or them using the fact that, uh, that author, if I'm not mistaken, I think he didn't like black people in real life. Not just because it was fun, uh, but more so because of the times, right? I think because of like the era. Right. And racism, that being a big thing. So they did some kind of thing where they tied all of his monsters into racism. Every monster he ever created was like a racist monster. So I thought the premise was different. Um, but I think that it, it relied too heavy on black victimhood, right? Which made it a little too crazy, right? Um, but that show didn't last more than one season. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, I think uh, when I did research, this dude was wild. I mean, he was saying some crazy ish. The author of um, to Lovecraft. Is it HP Lovecraft? If I'm not mistaken. He used to say some crazy shit. Bring a super villain, Back in the super day. villain King the Conqueror in the Marvel Universe. But also, and Dame- I don't care. They ain't going to stop me from reading the fucking book. Or, um, which actually. In the first episode of Lovecraft Country, that's what the main character like kind of like says. That's why I thought it had like certain potential in certain places. It just made it too woke. Amanderson Anderson in Creed three this but year. Certain things happen. This this gentleman's star was rising immensely, and he could not keep his hands off his girlfriend. You know, it's like. Um, you know, he survived Yale, but he did not survive being dating a crazy white woman. <laughs> now, do, do I think that she deserved any of this stuff? No, of course. The text messages outside of the converse, like, so this conference. Yes, that uh, HP Lovecraft was another, but a really interesting one. The man was a genius at the same time. Most geniuses are a bit off. I agree with that. Can't argue with that. Confrontation they have where he's basically trying to push her into this Uber and say, like, get out of here, leave. 
Um, but you're right. You know, I don't, that looks like two people having a, you know, being toxic. The text messages, however, were far more troubling where he begged like a little child for her to not go to the hospital because essentially he would be implicated. She kept saying, Oh, I'm having my head hurts. I'm having head problems. And he's like, please don't go to the hospital. People will ask questions, blah, 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 blah. blah, blah. And, you know, he wrote back, you know, please don't go. I don't want to, you know, I don't want people to answer questions. I mean, fam. And then after the fact, they proved why he should be so concerned and worried. What's going on, bro? Like, it's not rocket science of why he was concerned or worried. The hell is wrong with people? Am I tripping? I'm tripping. Don't tell me. Cause that's, that sounds crazy to me, bro. Yes. Yeah. He was terrified. And when you are at that level and at that point, you can't like really say he's wrong for being terrified, especially after seeing what just happened to him. But on the other hand, I do think that he should have made uh, some better moves. He should have made some better moves, some better choices. You had to know this chick was crazy. You had to know. You had to know. Man, uh, you bugging. You should have quit that. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. Now, if you have some extra time, can you do me a favor? Check out my music. I rap, I sing, and I make beats. All of that should be linked in the description. Also, if you want to watch me live stream, you can check me out on BXB Boy Live. That's another YouTube channel. It should be linked to my homepage. And you can check me out on Twitch and Rumble. I'm streaming on all these platforms, man. Trying to just get out there. Also, if you want to support me, you can sign up for my memberships on my channel, as well as my Patreon for as low as $1. You get exclusive access to a bunch of videos early before you even get it on YouTube, as well as videos that's not ever going to be on YouTube. Stuff that actually got me suspended and banned. It's, it's kind of my anti-cancer culture fun for BX Beast Boy. You know what I mean? And it also helps me get resources for certain video essays and things of that nature. Check that out if you're able to. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. And join my Discord if you are able to, man. The link should be somewhere within my description or somewhere on my channel. I would really love to see you there, man. That's where you get a chance to talk to me and the rest of my supporters, man. I appreciate you guys. Bang, gang, out.